Uh, why the protest today? The reason why that we had a protest, our people, the Navajo Nation, they never went over to our people. They never came to us and said that we're going to make a Berzi or monument. Nothing. National monument. We didn't. We weren't aware of it until about over a year. I mean, this was something new here. It's been going on for about 70 years, and we don't appreciate that. We've been wondering why that the Navajo Nation has been doing that. You know, all these many years that they never, always, they never came over. When they have meetings or anything that has to do with oil royalty, you know, they, they just don't know. Uh, they just never came over to us and let us know what they're doing. They totally left us out. They never said that you guys are going to be part of the meeting here. This is what we're going to do. I mean, this is just exactly how we've been treated. How it, it, this is how we've been treated all, all these many years. And we just got so tired of it, you know. We like the Navajo Nation to hear our voice, you know, to uh, maybe have some respect for our people because they're receiving 62.5% oil royalty into the Navajo Nation. In return, they never come around, they never checked on this. Every time that when we say, well, we talked about something, they always just don't agree with us. So that really shows that they have no respect for us at all. So that's why that we came out here that we're gonna oppose this Bears Ears because they have no history to that Bears Ears whatsoever. And we have the true history. Husky Ayeli, that's where his birthplace was. Do you think it'll be a hardship on the people that live in that area if they make a monument? I mean, of course, if there's going to be a monument that's going to be built there, there's going to be a lot of things that we can't do. Haul wood, pick up pinyon, uh, even go back to, to the burial site. We can't even do that. You know, just to even go back over there, kind of clean around, you know, just keep it maintained, keep it clean. And uh, uh, even at hunting, even campground. But one thing that I would really make it clear today Anybody that's listening to our voice as a descendant of Kayeli, we would like to have an access to the mountain. Maybe a, a, a ceremonial ground, you know, a place where we can, that's where our ancestors, you know, that's where, that, that was the homeland of the, our, our ancestors. We should really appreciate that if they ever acknowledge us. Okay, one other, one other question, you still got it in frame? Yep. One other question. Uh, you, I, I understand that, that your tribal elders, the Ayeli, they, they still go up to Bears Ears. Oh yeah, right. Okay. Are you aware of any of the other tribes of the Navajo that actually go up there with their elders for any reason? Uh, I'm pretty sure maybe just a tourist, you know, maybe just drive through there, but they don't have no any kind of homes to visit a burial site. No. Uh, Maybe just to drive through there. Yeah, maybe on the way to Lake Powell. Uh, okay. Uh, that that I, I think that probably covers that point. So you're not you are not aware of any any other tribes that do uh, that, that have elders that go up there for. for as far as I know, no, no. Even way before, uh, see, my grandpa, my paternal grandfather got interviewed. Even. This, the history that he was telling us, you know, there was no other tribe that used to live in that area. And he was born late 1800s. The Utes, they used to just travel right through there on the way down to a, a, a Navajo Mountain. Just nothing about the Ne, you know, that, that used to live in that area. The descendants of Kayeli, you know, that, that, was, that was about it.